But Dominators winds up being too simple of a premise, and it reminds you of the sort of thing which you're happy to see in one of these 1960s or one of these older vintage science fiction programs, although it does feel like something from season three of Star Trek, the original series. And I do like season three. It's not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. It can be pretty bad at times. But I think some of the, the, this serial, the appeal is the pl the props and the just science fiction tropes in general. It's not like it's doing anything new with them. It's just displaying them more or less, as you can see with this highly sped up version of the episode one of five the dominators hey this is a this is a five-parter that they deemed more worthy of a five-parter than six-parter i appreciate that i do this might have been better off best off as a three-parter or maybe just maybe as five episodes which all run in under one minute and a half just by speeding them up maybe this is a superior rendition of the dominators that's what we're going to find out. I don't think... I, don't, I Somehow I don't think it will be quite as interesting. Although, in terms of assessing how it's directed... Fairly intriguing. Morris Barry, who very, very effectively directed The Tomb of the Cybermen, does a reasonably good job here. Although... And, the, you know, you can't go wrong with these quark props, I suppose. And the, some of the costume design. It just reeks of predictable science fiction tropes of the mid 20th century post-war and that can be a good thing though it's not completely revelatory either in any case it is fun to some degree i think thanks everyone we'll see you in part two we'll discuss behind the scenes of the dominators in that one